What's up guys, it's Matt. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to remove the bezel ring from your Samsung Galaxy Watch. There's mine right there. And a lot of people have asked me how to do this safely and easily. It is really easy to do. I have another video I show how to change some of the inside parts underneath that ring. But if you just need to know how to remove it, I wanted to make a video just for you guys and we're gonna get right to it. All right, so in my other video, I actually show how to remove this by just getting underneath the uh, bezel ring and the little groove there with something flat and thin. And I use this pocket knife in my other video because it's nice and flat and thin. But honestly, you can risk scratching up your stuff if you use a, a pocket knife like this because it's metal and it's sharp. And, you know, honestly, if you, if you can use something different, what I did here is I pulled out some guitar picks. And I've got quite a few of them here. Guitar picks are great because they're super thin and they're nice and firm and plastic. So they ain't gonna scratch anything up. And so what I'm gonna use right now is a guitar pick. If you've got anything like this, this would be the best. But if you don't, you know, a pocket knife will work. Just be real careful with the pocket knife because you don't wanna scratch your stuff up. Obviously mine is already a little scratched up just from wear and tear, but I don't wanna make it any worse. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take something nice and thin and you're gonna get underneath the bezel ring with it. This may not be thin enough, honestly. Let's see, I've gotten other guitar picks here. This one's a lot thinner, but it's not as firm either. So we're gonna try this one out. Yeah, that one got under there really good, you see that? So you get underneath there, and you're just gonna kind of pry it up carefully. And I say carefully because underneath here are some parts that are gonna try to fly out on you. So be real careful when you do this. Let's see, I just popped it up pretty easy. And underneath here, you see these four holes on the outside there sitting in those four holes are normally a, a spring which you can actually see the spring is still there here and here and then there's a ball bearing a tiny 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 ball bearing it sits on that spring and those can fly out and you could lose them and so it, unless you have to open this i wouldn't even do it if it pops off on accident you lose those parts there's another video i made showing how to replace those parts and the gasket ring there's a little plastic gasket ring you can see right there i don't want to move mine because i have to get it back in place and it's kind of a pain in the butt i show you that in the other video and if you need that other video, there's a link to it in the description below this video. Um, but yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you get it off. So if you want to replace your ring or you need to replace your ring or you get a colored one or something you can get sometimes, I guess, and uh, need to change that out, that's how you pop that off. It's real easy. You just kind of pry it up and then you push it right back down to get it back on. Of course, like I said, you want, might want to watch the other video to make sure you get this, pl this uh, gasket ring in place. And actually... What I should do now to make it easier because it doesn't want to pop down real easy is you can take this gasket ring. I'll go ahead and pop it out. Mine's a little dirty. And uh, you put it in the grooves in this thing. So just on the inside groove, just like that. See how it's kind of just fitting in the groove in there? You get it all in there, all around. You get it to sit in there, and then in this, it should pop back on a lot easier. Well, it's got a little piece sticking out. Oh, it's not that easy. Not that easy. It's You're dealing with small stuff here. Try that again. There it goes. You hear it pop into place. It should spin good now. There we go. There we go. It's back together. All right, so there you guys have it how to remove your bezel ring and safely put it back on. Like I said, getting it back on is a lot harder than getting it off. Taking it off is really easy. And just in case you're wondering, it is still waterproof if you remove this because the waterproofing is beyond that ring. That ring is on the outside of the waterproof case. So you're still good if you need to remove your ring. And uh, that's how you do it. I hope you guys got some help out of this and I hope it uh, you know, helped you do what you need to do and or just give you some information if you need. I know some people just like to see how it works, but I hope that uh, you got what you wanted out of this video. And if you did, give it a thumbs up and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.